Hello everyone and welcome back to the Europa 2 Goodbye Despairer. We're just gonna report to everyone else about what we found here on the island. The Monokuma factory, the Monobeast factory, the... The army base, that's the last place. And also the food windows here, where we will report everyone because this were for Jihiko took us. He just went to the food and then stayed with the food and then got everyone else here. It's... Why is it flickering so much there? I feel like... It's a little bit like, oh, it's supposed to be like that, I, but then at the same time it feels too much there, so maybe not. I don't know, maybe something's wrong. Hey, baby gangster. Yeah, don't come here, baby gangster, yeah. All right, looks like everyone's here, yeah. Uh -huh. Huh, what about Nagi too? Well, who cares, it's not like he's a friend or anything. Like, hey, couldn't get in touch with him. I don't know where the hell he is or what he's doing, yeah? No. But we didn't see him midway today earlier when, about when they told us about this um, island that's going up, yeah? So maybe he doesn't even know it's opening and he's staying on the fourth island there going to tree rides all the time, yeah? Who knows? So, how did it go, everyone? Didn't learn anything about the Futurian Foundation, yeah? Hmm. Whoa, well, not really. Like, I feel I learned stuff, but I also feel like I didn't learn anything. It's not clear which information we found is believable, if any. However... Oh, however, I believe there's no question that the Future Foundation, despite everything that has been going on. Well. Hmm, are we sure about that, yeah? Huh? Huh? Ah, what are you saying? If they're not our enemy, then what are they? People that try to save us put us here as the hope of the world that would then lead the world and then Monokuma and Ultimate Despair, you know, those high school students that started uprising, maybe a third person, except the ones in the first game, that yeah, now come and take over and try to ruin everything, yeah! I don't know. That seems like... If they are allied, there's no way they trap us on this island. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's true, man. There's something I've been thinking about, yeah? Hey! One of me works for the Future Foundation, right? She's pretty much admitted it by this point. But even though Monokuma is forced us to kill each other, Monomi has been opposing him, yeah? Oh. Ooh, you mean pretending to oppose him, bro? That's wrong. No, I don't think she's pretending. They clearly hate each other. Hm. Yeah, then it's possible that the enemy of our enemy is actually an ally, yeah? Because she opposed Monokuma, you think she's our ally? I mean, yeah, she's been trying that from the beginning, like, Hey, I'm here to help you and support you and make sure you have as good a time as possible. I know things are hard for you, but you just need to trust me and I'm gonna make sure, try and make sure things are alright. She's been very incompetent on it, but still that's all she's been doing and going for and it's like, No, you are the enemy also. Why are you so funny, big enemy? I just wanna help you. Please like, like, oh. Even if they both oppose one another, it is not possible that they are both our enemies. <laughs> like a three-way battle, let's kind of hurt. Battle, of course, for you. Hey. Whoa, way after all this time, I'm suddenly backing up the future foundation. Whoa. Are you talking like that because you're actually afraid that's working for them, yeah? Yeah, don't be a fucking idiot, yeah? I won't be no way, you clear this speech on me if you don't. Shut down! Oh, can you see just Shuda? Shut up! Because you're suspecting everyone but me, I'm clearly the traitor, don't you know that? Yeah. Oh, oh, yes! <laughs> Listen! There never was a traitor! Monokuma lied to us! <laughs> oh my! Well, uh, Well? It is simply a false and entity that Monokuma made up! So we would be suspicious of each other. <laughs> How can you not believe in your friends after everything we have endured together? <sighs> weak. How weak. I mean, it sounded like a Nagato sigh at least. Yeah, see, I know my yeah. how they sound. Even if I can't do their voices and I have my own for them, I know how they sound. I know their vo sounds better than my own for them. Yeah. Instead of facing the problem directly and overcoming it, you're desperately trying to run away. That weakness is hopeless. I, I don't think she's trying to run away from it. She's trying to hide that she's the traitor. And she knows it. Nagito! Hey, you're back! Hi. Uh -uh. 
I, su- I think we're supposed to talk with you. Everyone else will be like, what's he doing here? And like, hinting that. Hint, hint, you should talk with Nagato. Hint, hint. Nagato, where have you been this whole time? Jeez. I wonder where you thought process one. One and off two. As usual, you guys just keep running around in circle. What are you? Hamsters. What happened with the hamsters, by the way? I I actually thought like we would have a little bit like... um, What was their name? You know, Ultimate Biker and Ultimate Moral Compass became one there. I thought the hamsters would flock a little bit to Sonia there as she was the one that were close to Gunnam. And she would change also being the evil queen. No, I don't know. I'm just making up my own things. I need to draw that maybe an evil queen of Sonia with the hamsters around. Like she absorbed him because Gundam was, um, it's the same face or whatever art style there, like the ultimate moral compass. That's also why I thought that a little bit he felt that. The same way Nagato here reminds me of uh, Makoto. And they both ultimate look students, so they both look the same. I don't That's the thing. And Monokuma even say they remind of each other. It's, uh, what are you, hamsters, say they? <laughs> Oops, if I compare you guys to hamsters, will I get yelled at by that weakling who dropped out? That is... What does that? <laughs> now then. You asked where I've been this whole time, right? Well... Well, I was in the middle of looking for someone. Looking for someone? <sighs> I thought that person might have already arrived, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> or maybe that person is hidden in a secret location, or c- and carefully watching us. Hey, who are you talking about, yeah? Are you saying there's someone else in this island beside us? <laughs> it's probably the survivor of the killing school life. Akia? <gasps> He's back! He... No, he died. Well, maybe. Who knows? I... The thing he said there... You never can stop the thing Bakuya said there at the end there as a friend and that the... it was inconsistent with what... Bakuya told us in the real, in the first game, not the real game, like, this is some fan list, but in the first game. And then some other things he said, it's like, oh, sometimes I feel like he was just an impersonator. I want the real Bakuya to come up like, hey, what's up everyone? What? You thought I was dead? Why would you think that? We never met before. <sighs> How about it? If so, a lot of things might start adding up, don't you think? Are you talking about Bakuya? He's the survivor you're talking about, right? Oh. What? Uh. Oh, I see. You guys have only reached that stage. What's that? You're not making any sense at all. Not making sense! Not making any sense! He said it. But still, if you think about it properly, you might be able to figure it out. Why would Bakuya, a survivor of the killing school life, die in vain like he did at the very beginning? Right? Don't you think it's strange? Huh? Yeah, what does that mean, yeah? That is an order! Oh, the issue is not with what he means. Please take back what you said about Bakura dying in vain. That's right. Yeah, well, listen to me, Sonia. Well? You have been acting very strange lately. I do not like this version of Naito we have been witness to. Huh. I don't like that either, well, I never liked him in the first place. I mean, we liked him before he became crazy! Oh, it looks like I'm being hasted. Well, that's understandable. There's no way you guys can even comprehend my suffering. Knowing the truth can be pretty painful in its own way. And still you say, ignorance is the greatest shame. Was it sin? Was it shame or sin, he said. Oh no. I'm more a part of though. Ignorance is a bliss because the truth only hurts. Yeah. I guess I should more face forward. Face your fears. Up. I know my fears and I am. <sighs> but yeah. Just wish I didn't know certain things. The truth. What truth? What do you know? <laughs> Curious, are you? But why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is? Huh? It's Sonia, right? Actually... To tell you the truth, I still haven't figured out who the traitor is. <laughs> but it won't take me very long. You guys don't have to worry. I'll wait out the traitor, even if it costs me my life. What? Hey, you're going to wait out the traitor, yeah? Please wait! Oh, as, as, as I've already said, there, there is 
Christmas Raider. Please don't suspect me. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet in the end you're just gonna raise your hand and go, I'm actually the traitor, bro. Uh. <laughs> you're a funny guy, Kazuchi. But why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is? If I'm able to wipe out all this despair on this island, will I, will I become the ultimate hope? I feel like he learned about Makoto and therefore like, I'm the ultimate lucky student, I can also become ultimate hope, just like him. <laughs> ultimate hope. You. Whoa, what the hell are you talking about? I finally lost your damn mark. Now then. Now then, I should get going. But if you see Monokuma again, there's something I want you to tell him. Tell him he doesn't need to provide a motive anymore. Huh? <laughs> tell him not to worry, because I'm planning to go all out. Beside, the next one will probably be the last. Could it be? Nagito, what do does that mean? Bye now. Bye. I think he's just trying to mind game Monokuma though. Nagato ignored Jackie's question and left us. We were powerless to stop him. It was clear to us that trying to stop him would just be useless. Hey, hey. Hey. I don't want to think about it, bro. Can you be planning a kill? Yeah, that bastard. Are you kidding me? Who are you? Who? Who's the guy? Kill? The traitor. Yeah, based on his talking, it looks like his target is the traitor, yeah. Oh, there is no such person. <laughs> I already suspected you, and now you just have to act this way, like even more like. No, there is no traitor. I won't accept there is a traitor. I mean, the notion that one of us has been saving us all along. I will never ever believe that. <laughs> sure, Sonia. You've been too nice. Too, you know. Like Sonia said, I can't believe it either. I don't think any of us could do that. Wait. Do Does it chill remind you of Yankuna when I think about it? Hmm. So you're evil, just like Yanko. But what if it is Nagato? Or what if whoever it is has forgotten about it? What if the traitor has forgotten that they are the traitor? Just like how I forgot that I don't have a talent. Uh. Well, regardless of who is his targeting, there's a high chance that he's planning to kill Ra. Right. Don't get to tie him up again. Forcing him to stop is him to stop is the only way, Ra. Weren't you only able to do that before because you had Nekomaru on your side? I mean, maybe we could do it with Akane still. Yeah, probably Akane could do it. Uh, for a moment I was like, you can't tie him up probably, you too wait, but we have Akane on our side, so if she wants to, we probably can do it. Oh. It's impossible. Nekumaru's not even here anymore. I'll show you my uh, I get what it takes to deal with someone as we can see. I'm here too! I'm here too. Huh? Well then, that's a yes, bro. Just leave it to me. Once you come up with a plan, we'll meet up again. Tie up Nagato, huh? Kazuchi is right. It's dangerous to let Nagato wander freely. If we're being cautious, we have to act fast. But what is this indescribable anxiousness I'm feeling? I hope it just means I'm thinking too much. For the time being, we decided to finish our exploration of the final island and return to the hotel. And our cottages. It was already dark by the time we returned to the hotel. So we're returning to the hotel or... Oh! Hi everyone! How are you feeling? Hi traitor! You certainly are that right. Oh! <laughs> it's a shadow! That's the thing, you often get scared by shadow, but for a moment here I thought it was a corpse like... Holy shit, she murdered someone! But no, it wasn't blood, it was just her red shoes and that's not a corpse, it's her shadow. Oh, I believe that there is no traitor. No, there, that is not the issue. After all, it is impossible. Well? Why does Nagato not understand that? <laughs> and furthermore, he even made an insulting remark about Gunnam. Uh. Gunnam gave his life so he could teach us something important. 
Sonia? Um... At the time, Gundam schooled me for attempting to stop his execution. But looking back on it, he would forgive me with a smile on his face, right? Yeah, definitely. Bye. Gundam stayed true to himself until the very end. I will never forget that. Hmm. What about you, Akane? Huh. I'll do Nikamara Sheriff the Grand Way. I'm pretty confident about my strength, anyways. As long as nobody grabs my tail, there won't be any problem. Are you like Goku? Then? I didn't even think I had a tail, but yeah, I can see resemblance. You have a tail? You. Obviously, I'm joking. <laughs> Why am I doing his voice? He seemed to always have his own voice there. Don't be thinking stuff like If you want to see a tail, I got one if you grab it. If you grab it. <laughs> I'll get even more powerful. <laughs> That's a terrible yo. Is it worse than a yo an old man would make? I mean, an old man would probably make that yo, right? Hmm. Besides, it isn't a tail, it's a one eight snake, right? Maybe I should have talked with Baby Gangster also, but they didn't seem to have anything important to say, right? Okay, we're at the hotel. Anything? What's happening? Chiki? Or do I need to go to a restaurant? The plan to capture Nagito. Huh. Akane looked pretty confident, but is she really going to be all right? I mean, she's strong, but Nagito is, you know, unpredictable. You're right, but I don't know how else we're supposed to catch him. I don't even know if this is the right thing to do. Hmm. If Nekumaru was still here, would he let Akane go through with this? See? Ah, uh, actually, he probably get pumped up about our capturing plan along with her. You know, he did capture him once before. Yep. And Kashuhiki helped him that time too. It feels like Gunnam and Nekumaru are scolding us for not growing at all. Maybe. Okay, am I going to the restaurant? Where am I, where am I supposed to go? I'm lost and confused. Like an old man again. Mm -hmm. No? What? Does it say anything here like what am I supposed to do? It doesn't do that at the map at least, no? What? Oh. So I'm supposed to return to my cottage. Thank you for telling me that game. Outside, thanks. I guess we're going to bed. It were like, yeah, it's night time. Go and sleep. Well, let's go talk with Baby Gangsta again, though. Hi, Baby Gangsta. Jeez. Yes, even her ignorance has a limit, yeah? What are you talking about this time? Huh? Hey, it's Sonya, yeah? She had a nerve to say she wanted to check out my buddy, yeah? What? Your buddy? Touch your buddy. Yeah, I don't think you went about winning, Sebastian, yeah? It wasn't like that. I don't know where she had it from, but... She came up to me and said, We look as are supposed to have tattoos to... to show them to me, yeah? <laughs> oh, that's what it was. Damn it! Yeah, it's not funny of her to tell me to strip right in front of her, right? Why does she think... Why does she think she is, yeah? Some freaking princess? Sorry, tattoos aren't supposed to be gawked at, yeah? Yeah, I guess so. Do you have a tattoo? I guess you yeah. have. Is it a dragon on your back? That's usually the one in anime, right? There's one kind of dragon. Although it's always Chinese dragons, so it's like water dragons. They're no fun at all, right? Who knows? Kashyyyk? We haven't seen Kashyyyk at all, though. I wonder where he disappeared to. Will he be at my cottage again? Is it? Do I still have a broken lock because of... Um, punk rock girl, what was her name? I don't remember at all and I feel bad about that. I mean, they were 16 to begin with, and I can't remember everyone. Okay, I'm sorry about that. For some reason, I'm really tired today. Well, since I walked around all day today, I was able to obtain several clues that we don't know if they are actual clues or just tricks by Monokuma. Although I'm not really certain if you even can even call them clues. Yeah. Instead, I felt like we're just suffering from more mysteries that doesn't make sense. This isn't good. As soon as nighttime hits, I can't stop thinking all these pessimistic thoughts. This might be a bad habit of mine. I should just get some sleep for today, 
rest my mind for a while. And then I'll go give this some more thought tomorrow. Oh. Oh. Actually, words are extremely dangerous. Unlike letters, words cannot be cannot be unknown with erases or with backspace. That's why you need to be extremely careful. Fingers for me. There was a time in my past when I went through a lot of trouble because of that. That's right, when I was being trained at the safari park. At the time, there were two animals at the park that I got along with. One was a squirrel named Sir Dietrich, and the other was a fox named Chacha Jr. To be honest, Chacha Jr. was really stupid. If a female approach tried to have a serious talk with him, he has stared at her boobs the whole time. That's why soon, Sir Beatrix would order him to steal panties. And that idiot would get real happy when he exchanged the panties he stole for Beatrix's old Andes. Also, this one time, the three of us went to a steak house and the the rest, how would you like it cooked? Sasha Julie probably said, proudly said, wait fire. So Beatrix was pretty crafty, he know how to play Chacha Ch Ch Jr. He made Chacha Ch Jr. abduct, abduct a fawn and draw it and drown it and he saved that drowning fawn himself. And he made Chacha Ch Jr. tell everyone about it. Man, he really did some shady things. Anyway, the three of us were getting along together. We were living a fun life at the safari park. That's right, until the day I ended up saying those words. I accidentally said this to Shasha Jr. Foxes are squirrels, natural enemies. The next day I stumbled across what was left of Theodric Sir. He had been eaten. Good thing, I immediately tattled to a male employer so he could tattled to a male employer so he could put down Shasha with a hunting rifle. Even now I regret saying what I said back then. What the hell? These squirrels have a trough. They have so many natural enemies. Like bears. Bing dong, bing bong. Oh, it's been so long since we heard that. Ah, such reassuring sound. Good morning, everyone! No. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day! Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! Yeah, let's give it our all! Do it now! I'm pretty sure everyone's starting it, starting to meet up. For now, I should head over to the restaurant. Yeah, let's go! With enthusiasm and... What else did he say? I've forgotten. Still, start your day with that.